Welcome back to another video! No, I'm just joking, guys. Hey guys, my Matt, that's my guy, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at how to create some awesome anime action lines. You know, the ones that you see when there's some cool fight scene going on. Um, and actually, it's actually really, really easy, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, we're gonna hit delete to delete default cube, goodbye default cube. Hit shift A, uh, go to mesh, plane, hit S to scale that bad boy up just a little bit, and we're gonna select our camera, hit alt G, alt R, and then we're going to hit RX90 on my numpad to rotate 90 degrees on the x-axis. Hit GY to move our camera back. Then we're going to hit 0 to go into our camera's view. Now, I want to move it up by hitting GZ. Move it up to about right there. And then we'll select our plane. Hit it GZ to move it just beneath the camera and hit S to scale it down a little bit. So you can see right here, I'm trying to get these edges to line up a little bit. You know, they don't have to be perfect, but just line it up. just just a general shape. Now I want to rotate this a little bit to the uh, to the right hand side over here. So we're going to hit R, Y, and we're just going to rotate it just a little bit, then hit G, move it off to the side so we don't see that little piece in the in the, in the bottom right there. Uh, so that looks good. All right, now we're all set up. I'm going to go ahead and move out of our camera's view, hit Shift A, and add in a circle. This circle is going to uh, be, we're going to mix around with some of the settings. So before you hit anything, we hit Add Circle down here, um, and we're going to change the vertice count to 12. And we're going to change the fill type to in gone. There we go. Now we can hit RX90 on our numpad to rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis. Hit GY to move it back behind the grid. Behind the camera, sorry. There's no more grid. I miss it. It's all one big grid now. <laughs> I miss the days there's just a single grid in the middle. Uh, but anyway, uh, now we can go ahead and select our plane. Go down here to the particles tab. Hit new. And we can uh, change the amount of particles. Uh, we'll do we'll do that last. We'll do that last. Um, so I want to go up and go d all the way down to force field set. No force field weight. Sorry. Change the gravity all the way down to zero, and then go ahead and make sure we uh, have everything all set up. So we're gonna go to the velocity and change this from normal to something crazy like five. Now, if we play this, you should be able to see that the particles go up super fast. Go into the camera's view by hitting zero. Uh, I want to move this over a little bit because this side over here is not getting enough particles. So move that over about right there. Looks good. So uh, that looks pretty good so far. I might want to do a little bit more though. So let's go ahead, turn the normal up to 10 maybe for the vertices. And the lifetime will turn up to 200 as well. Um, that might be too fast, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and add in our circles. So we'll go down to viewport display. Uh, not viewport display. Uh, we need, where is this? I can't remember. Uh, yes, that is what we need, is it not? Render, it's render. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go to render as, and then we're going to go to object, object, and then change the instance object here to circle. Now you can see they're not rotated properly, they're rotated the wrong direction, so we're going to go ahead, and uh, right here, hit object rotation, and then just check that on, now we have what we need. So, uh, that looks good, but right now you can see that there's still circles, which is not, you know, really what we need. So we're, we're going to fix that by going ahead and selecting our circle right here. And hitting S Z, and we're gonna just scale it up, super long, spiky thing like that. And then S X, scale it inwards a little bit. Now you can see having a little bit of a problem though, because you can see they're kind of just being straight and then just going up diagonally, which is not what we need. So we're gonna go ahead and check rotation here. You can see if we play this, you can see now they're they're ro they're rotated, but it, it is working properly. You just can't tell. So we hit dynamic on. Actually, we don't need dynamic. Dynamic. We're gonna go ahead and scroll on out here to our uh, actual big spiky thing. And now if we rotate this, you can see it will rotate uh, the way we need it. So we're going to hit R, Y, 90 on our numpad. Now, if we go back to our camera's view, you can see that when they um, when they move, they move properly. So, we have that. I'm going to scale this in a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, hit S to scale, of course. Um, now, I think we're going to need way more than 1,000 particles. I did test this with 5,000, so I'm going to go ahead and bump this up to 5,000. You can see now, if I go back to the beginning, hit play, you can see we have a lot more particles, which might make you dizzy, but that's fine because we're going to change the colors up, and this will make it a little bit better. So with our camera selected, I want to go ahead and go to uh, the camera tab, go to viewport display, and turn the alpha all the way almost up so we can see just what we need to see here. I'm going to go ahead and also go to the world tab, and we're going to go to uh, 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 rendered viewport shading up here. I want to grab our lamp right there, hit G to move it to the front, right uh, right in front of the camera here, as close as possible anyway, it doesn't have to be perfect, just somewhere in the front, there we go, and I want to go ahead, also I want to change this uh, in the lamp tab here, in lamp settings, to an area, 
and then we'll rotate it properly rotate it so that it's wait just alt r actually we can just hit alt r clear the rotation then r x 90 there we go and we can turn this shape to square and turn the size up looks good not too far up though something like that looks good now what i want to do is go back to the world tab now we can change the color to like a blue a bright blue maybe something like uh something like that maybe perhaps i want to scale this in a little bit more because it's kind of thick still so we'll select our little spike pike thing and then we'll just scale that down a little bit in the center so it's it's less thick i think that looks much better now if we play this with the overlays off you can see we have a really cool thing and I, that might be a little too thin now so let's go ahead and select that and just scale it up just a little bit i think that's better yeah i think that's much better so if we if we take a pause on that right quick and we hit render see that we have some really cool little uh spikes which is which is pretty sweet and we can uh we do a couple more things here but i think this is is really nice the way that it is for the background we can always just um grab let's see let me go ahead and for some of the settings here i do want to turn on a little bit of bloom though and we'll turn the knee up a little bit the radius down and the threshold a little down as well oh, oh up to go down rather something like that and the intensity maybe a little bit down and i do want to bump the radius up a little bit more something like that and the radius down the intensity down looks good all right and then we'll change the color to like a a, a brightish blue like that maybe yeah all right that looks good now i also want to go ahead and go to uh what oh uh we can go down here to a film and if you don't want the background you can change the alpha to transparent and then if we were to, if we were to render this you should be able to see that the background is transparent and you can put any background you want back there which is really nice if you would like to do that uh, but you definitely don't need to do that if you don't want to. So let me go ahead and undo that, put that back on sky. Now that was pretty good the way that it is. We can go color management and change around some of the settings here to get some different looks, some different feels. Uh, but other than that, that is it. Let me go ahead and change it to more of a blue bloom. Something like that, maybe. I guess it's a little bit better. Perfect. So that is going to be it for our anime action lines. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, super quick one. That's the default right there. That's really super bright. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, but until then, bye-bye.